Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video tutorial, I will be explaining you how you can upload a file or a picture to a SharePoint library from a Power App. So, I will start with creating one blank canvas app. Load file. So, in this tutorial, we will be using Power Automate in conjunction with Power Apps to achieve our goal to upload a picture or a file. So, I'll start with one of the gallery control. Okay, so this gallery, I would like to bind it to my SharePoint library. So, I'll just select the data source as SharePoint. And uh, I'll choose one of my site. And it will list down all the libraries or list whatever I'm having. So I'll choose my images and connect. All right, so it's connected, but it's not showing me thumbnails for my images. So I need to change this. So I'll just uh, change this to the selected this dot item thumbnail and us let's say medium let's pick medium all right so i started picking my images which are there in my library so now as i said i'll be uploading the picture in this sharepoint library from my canvas app so to start with i'll just select one uh, media control add a picture control so it will allow me to click or add a picture and as well as I'll add up one button which will be upload button and on click of this I'll bind one flow which will update or upload my picture to the SharePoint library. So to bind up the flow I need to go to the actions power automate and I need to click on create a new flow. So this will open up the flow control flow panel and from the existing templates I would be choosing upload a photo to SharePoint from, from Power Apps. So this will create one default flow with available actions with the required actions. So it's there I need to just fill up the connection details. I'll select my SharePoint site select my library too and in the email I'll just select my email so all that I'll just click on save so it's an inbuilt power, power app to SharePoint flow which I'm using for this demo now I'll go back to my uh, power app so now I have to because this flow has been created now I have to add this flow to my power app so I'll just click on add so this flow should be added over here so that I can choose this flow within my function so you must have seen that is automatically populated my on select button uh, with uh, dot run function where I have to pass the inputs so first input is first input parameter is create file name so I can just pick the file name from add media button file name and now I need to pass the file content so that it can be transferred to share uh, flow and it can upload that file using that binary text to our SharePoint library so I'll pass this as upload image one dot image so this would be my binary text so this upload uh, image dot image it gives me a URI so I'll just first of all I just validate whether it runs without errors or not if not if, if it doesn't then uh, I would need to format my power up with uh, the, this content with JSON so I'll just save and run it I'll go back and I'll just run I'll just pick some image and I'll just click on load. Okay, so let's see whether my flow 
ran or not okay it did run let's see if it is ran successfully okay it did not though it went to the else condition but it threw some error so the template language function the template language function data URI expects a parameter to be formatted as a valid data URI so how we can fix this one so I'll just edit this flow quickly and in the expression you can see it's converting the data URI to binary so as I'll be from the power up I'll be passing the binary data itself so I need not to do that I need not to convert it so I'm just updating this function and saving it and now as in change I need to go back to my power app and I need to click on upload function and as well as I need to pass I would be using the JSON function to convert include the binary data so JSON function as you see it takes data and the format type of format as a second parameter so JSON format dot include binary data so I'll just use this one okay so I'll just save it again and now I'll run it so let's see what it shows so as my picture is already selected I'll just click on upload okay it did click on it I will go back to my flow I'll check whether it ran successfully or not okay it did run and this time it went to the create file uh, branch and I believe we should see the file over there okay we have the file we are able to move the picture from our power uh, power canvas app to the SharePoint library so it's the deal so in this tutorial you must have learned how you can use the add media control to browse the images or the file and on click off button you can call the power app uh, power flow so that it can pass the content of your file including binary uh, data and so that the flow can take care of it and upload the file I believe it would be helpful for you for, for, for creating your own apps for your organization thank you